guys i just wanted to do a little video here for everybody to check out what's going on we're doing a mega squirt throttle body injection on a toyota land cruiser 2f engine um so what we've done so far is we bought from i think downy off-road there's an adapter and then just a two barrel uh typical run-of-the-mill Chevrolet um, throttle body with injectors. What else we got here? Oh, and on the back, instead of the stock stuff, we actually got AN fittings. Um, let me thread one of these off real quick. And you can see. So this is a dash six push lock, so three eighths. And then it goes to um, these little adapters I'm not exactly sure what thread it is, but you can get them different places, I'm sure. Uh, lots of places online have them. But, yeah, it just look like this. Oh, there you go. Just a little push lock, push in fitting. Let me uh, try to thread that back in. But anyway, that's what we're running for the fuel. And we got... A Walboro fuel pump to run with that. Let's see. Right here, I think it was like Walboro fuel pumps.com or something. One of those places is a genuine uh, low pressure pump for this particular applica application for the throttle body injection. And it's got this Edelbrock uh, Toyota Land Cruiser from Downey Off-Road disc filter. Um, let's see, and you're going to want to see the gas tank. So the gas tank is the coolest part, I think, because we, we're trying to figure out how to get pressurized fuel to and from. And we actually found that the thread, the metric thread in the bottom of the tank plug um, you can get an adapter to go to these AN fittings, and uh, we just went to 3 8 push lock. Go figure. Look at that. So we're gonna have a sumped tank, be able to get every last drop out of this guy, and uh, should be good. So we're gonna go from there to a fuel pump, that wall burrow. Now first a uh, fuel filter, then the fuel pump. Then I'll just run up on those rails up to the top. And uh, then we've got an HEI ignition from uh, the DUI guys. They built this up one. And then for the Mega Squirt, we put on this uh, four pin adapter that has your uh, five volt, your ground, and the uh, ignition. I forget what the other one is, but anyway, it's got uh, the four out because we're going to be trying to control this with the Mega Squirt. Because normally you'd have like a vacuum advance down here and you just set your static timing and then let the vacuum advance do it. But we're going to control that um, with the Mega Squirt. So we had to use the plug. So the plug is going to go up to the Mega Squirt. Uh, we got a little fuse box. These ones are awesome. They're by. Uh, I think it's Blue C. You can get them on Amazon. We got this guy for like 20 bucks. Has a locking clear cover. Uh, so we're gonna go fuse block right here. If I can manage that. So fuse block, uh, all the wires are over here. I kind of pre-cut them. Uh, you can see they're all full length right now. We'll obviously cut them down, but like this one's for the coolant uh, temperature. They have the GM style weather packs and uh, we just used these, if it'll focus, these uh, crimp connections with the solder, or not solder, the heat shrink. You got heat shrink right there. They make a beautiful seal. I wish you could see it really clearly, but Man, they uh, 
they do a good job. Anyway, I did all those. Uh, Amazon Porter Cable heat gun. Here's our little assortment. It's this size. I think you get them on Amazon. Uh, anyway, that's the brand. Uh, let's see what else. We've got, yeah, the injectors. They're all wired up, and we're going to loom them. Everything's going to come uh, from here. Oh, if you need this adapter, I guess it ended up being like half-inch pipe thread, and then you just go half to three-eighths bushing, and the three-eighths is your, uh, is your uh, coolant temp sensor, so you actually don't even need to do that. We thought it was some metric fitting and got the wrong fitting, but it ended up being just half inch pipe thread. I mean, I guess you could bore it out a little bit and just tap it for half inch anyway, if it's big enough. Um, but anyway, you need that coolant uh, temp sensor. And then for the air temp, the uh, inlet air temp, we're just gonna take this guy right here and drill a hole in the bottom of the plate for the air cleaner and uh, It'll just sit in there and take the reading. Then we have an AEM wide band. Another Amazon special. You could probably call this an Amazon build. And uh, what we're using, I think it's in here, is a Megasquirt 2. Using a Megasquirt 2 box with the connector harness that goes to the relay board. So the relay board is like the by far the easiest way to connect one of these things. It's got all the relays for your fuel pump and your main relay and all of the labeled connections on the board for all your sensors. And we're going to try to fit it in the glove box, but uh, it's a little tight with all the wires and stuff. We're just trying to figure out what to do. Might mount the mega squirt on the ground somewhere or up under the fire wall I don't I don't know then put maybe the the relay board in the glove box and then run everything through the firewall right there but anyway it's coming along pretty smooth I'll do a little update once it's done but if you have any questions just uh, put them in the comments it's not very difficult at all it's just sourcing the parts all right, we'll see you.